Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today, I am outside with Big Bertha. It's chilly out here, the wind is blowing, and I'm in the shade. <laughs> so, you all may remember Big Bertha. Big Bertha is my peach tree. You see her? See all of that? See all of that? All of that's Bertha. <laughs> now, the issue is, is that Bertha... Bertha has been <coughs> Thanks Silky Smooth. Thanks Silky Smooth. Thanks Silky. So Bertha has had some issues, okay, with pest. Number one, the uh, peach moth or the, the peach borer, she has had an issue with that. She has a fungus issue as well, which is why our peaches get that little black spot on them and then from there they just they just not good before we even get a chance now one of the biggest issues that i know we have with bertha is the fact that she's not getting enough sun okay now really and truly she because of the way the sun comes we do get a lot of sun up in here but with all of the underbrush we're going to clear all of that out and then the biggest thing is we're going to cut her back. We're going to prune her back. We're going to prune her way back, which is why I got this. <laughs> now, I'm going to start pruning Bertha, but the issue is, is that because of the size of Bertha, this is not going to be good for a lot of her, okay? Because, look, she's about this big around on all of her branches okay from the base of the tree she has multiples this size okay so this is not going to cut it i'm going to have to actually pull out something else might have to get my chainsaw but she's pretty big so what i'm going to do is all of the branches that are going to be below where or the well, you'll see. I'm going to cut those off. And I'm going to show you because we want her to have a good, healthy start. This is the end of January. And it's a great time. And I know the shade is right here because the sun is there. So it's a good time to prune her. This is right before she starts to come out of dormancy, coming out of that winter sleep. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and prune her back now so that when that energy burst come for her to start producing, she'll be getting a fresh start. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing. All right, so as you can see, look at how thick. Look at how thick she is around the base. Just look at this, right? This one right here, I'm cutting all the way off. This is coming completely off. Number one is too low to the ground. So I'm just going to take her come take this one completely off. I've already started. And I'm going to take this one completely off. And then this one. I'm going to take this big one completely off right here. And then there's a little one back here that I'm going to take off as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Because she's just everywhere. Look at all of this right here. She's everywhere. So I got to go ahead and, 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 and help Big Bertha to do hopefully better this year. I am just about halfway through and this is a heavy branch one of the things I don't want to do I don't want to break this branch I just want to cut clean through which is quite a job we're almost there we're almost there That was a job. I'm 
I'm going to take out now all of these inside branches here. Anything that's going to the inside of the tree, I'm going to cut it out. Any inside branches are... This is inside. I'm going to take that out. Anything on the inside is coming out. I don't want anything growing in the middle. So I'm going to take everything in the middle out. And the only thing I want are the branches that's coming on the outside. So... So when I cut this, I ripped it right here because the branch was so heavy and I couldn't hold it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just come back a little bit and cut behind where the damage is and that way it'll just be a smooth cut. So when I cut the bigger branch, you see what it did to it? I didn't want to have that damage in like that on the tree. I didn't think that would be healthy. So I just went up a little bit and cut some more. And I uh, think she's going to be better for it. Got more to do, more to do. That's a big branch. Now I split again because the weight of the branch was so heavy and that's fine. I cut it up high enough so that if it's split like that, it's up as it's up a little higher than where I actually wanted to cut it. So when I do actually cut it where I want to cut it like you saw before, it'll be a smooth cut. All right, you all so let me show you what I've done so far now you can see right here at the bottom we had this big mega branch coming out of here and I've already cut that one off we had these two right here I've cut that one and that one I've even cut off the end of this one because this one was hanging so far out and so long the tips of it was almost gonna be headed to the ground now this one right here, I'm going to get on this side so you can see it. This one right here, I've cut it off. You saw me right here as well. Now this one, now I was originally going to take this whole one out, but I changed my mind. I'm going to leave all four of those right there. Now this big one right here is going all the way up there into the sky. That one. <laughs> This one right here is a bit much for me, not to mention it's way too tall. And look at this branch right here. Look at how that branch, how far that branch is stretching over. This tree that's sitting right here, all of these are coming out. Every last one of these itty bitties are coming out. But this tree right here, we're gonna cut it right underneath where it forks, okay? going to come down a bit and we're going to cut it right underneath where it forks but I am going to have to get Mr. H to help me with that 
because I do not want you see all of that up there <laughs> that's a lot not to mention it's so much taller than I am so I'm gonna get Mr. H to go underneath that fork and he is gonna be the one to take care of it for me okay but as you can see we I have taken down whoo, I've taken down quite a bit of it and to be honest I think I'm doing it just in time because look at the tips here look at there look at here this baby looks like it's about to start budding just look look at there and look at the color coming back in it it's not brown it's getting that reddish it's getting that reddish color look at there so it looks like I'm doing this in the nick of time y'all but that up there I'm gonna wait for Mr. H to handle that cuz my goodness that is way too much for me I've done all that I can do <laughs> now let me take you over here and show you I'm gonna take you over here and show you so far what came off of her cuz I'm telling you look at this all of this came off of Bertha just look Bertha had trees within trees within trees within trees attached to her just look at all of this that came off of her I mean this was a lot this was how long the branches were just look at this all the way out here all of this came off of Bertha look at this down here just look y'all so this was a lot to come off of her to say that we still ain't done cutting her back and then cleaning it all up that's a lot y'all all right y'all that is going to do it i believe you all get the gist of what i had to do to bertha to cut her back and then i'm going to show you in another video i'm about to fertilize her too yes i am i'm about to fertilize her to get her ready for the spring i am going to put down some coffee grounds some chicken manure i'm gonna put down just different fertilizers for her because and then i'm just going to cover her back up with all of the leaves because the leaves help break down all that organic matter that's sitting at the base of her is good for her so once i put the um once i fertilize her a bit all i'm gonna do is just put the leaves right back over her okay so that's gonna basically be it for maxine i'm sorry <laughs> not maxine the meyer lemon big bertha the peach tree big bertha is our peach tree so yeah big bertha it's going to have a fighting chance this season and like i said just in the nick of time because she's about to start budding so just in the nick of time and when mr h gets a hold to that top part just underneath where she forks at i want to cut that off i do i want to cut that down low yeah and uh yeah so i'll bring y'all back when i'm getting ready to fertilize underneath her because we want to be able to get a good chance of getting some peaches this time around even if it's not that many i don't care about not getting like because the tree was loaded with tons of peaches but that did us no good because we couldn't eat not one of them because she was number one had had a um a fungus and then she also has a issue with that peach borer so and i remember seeing those around and i didn't know what they were and i asked somebody what is this and i noticed that the more i saw them the more they were around big bertha so i do have a solution for that i am going to get some um, organic insecticides i'm going to get an uh, organic treatment for her for the fungus and then i will be spraying her down once it starts to warm up a bit i'm going to spray her ahead of time right i'm going to spray her ahead of time and just make sure that we don't have any more issues with any uh, fungus any insects or pests or whatnot we want peaches <laughs> in 2021 okay we want peaches so we're going to do what we can to help big bertha so big bertha is not big bertha 
anymore. Big Bertha is medium Bertha. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's going to do it. Um, I um, pruned her <laughs> with these uh, pruners right here because I couldn't get my chainsaw going. But this did a pretty good job, I'll say, because y'all saw the size. Y'all saw the size of Bertha. So this, I had to put some elbow grease in it. But this did an okay job. It did a great job, actually. And so Mr. H, he will go ahead and and get that top part knocked off for me. And like I said, I'll bring y'all back and I'll show y'all how I'm gonna fertilize her, okay? So y'all, um, the fungus makes your peaches turn brown, right? It just starts with a little brown spot on the peach and then it just consumes the entire peach, right? And it does that to all of them. And it starts with these little brown spots on the leaves and we did notice that. Actually, I may rake all those leaves from under there. I may rake them all from under there because the leaves had that disease as well. So I think I will rake her clean and start over with some wood chips or something. I think I'm going to rake her clean and just start with some wood chips and get rid of all the leaves that were underneath her. Yes, I am. So anyway, you all put that you all put down in the comment section below how we can help Big Bertha and hopefully give her a fighting chance for the 2020 20, the 2021 gardening season all right all right y'all thank you all so much for joining me today if you haven't done so already give our video a thumbs up the sun is in my eyes don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel thank you all so much again for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video